It's not easy taking a back seat to Beijing bronze medalist Nathan Twaddle. Come on, Curtis. Come on, Curtis. Ah, this is the place to start. Come on, Curtis, put your back into it. I am. <laughs> Rowing's all about putting your back into it, and that's the attitude this organisation is taking towards the adaptive side of the sport. In fact, Rowing New Zealand is leading the way when it comes to inclusion. We want to have international success, but we also want to have people at uh, grassroots, local, club level, um, participating in the sport and, and getting enjoyment out of rowing. So across the board, we like to think that we're being very open and very uh, adaptive for the needs of the athletes. While many sports resist the idea of inclusion, Rowing New Zealand sees the value in getting people with disabilities on the water. We are uh, looking forward to a really good day. We're here to just provide you with the opportunity to to get on the water, experience rowing, try the rowing machines and see what our sport is about. It's a cold and very wet day at Lake Karapiro. But they've still drawn an eager crowd of first timers. And Westpac volunteers have given up their weekend to support the cause. Well the Westpac volunteers are here and as wonderful as they are, they can't do anything about the weather. So everybody's moved everything inside. Got any onions with those sausages mate? <laughs> They're coming. Westpac has joined Rowing New Zealand to promote the concept uh, that sport is for the, the all. World, uh, cup. Here to Adrian prove what's Henning. possible is now Rowing New Zealand's right latest poster boy, side. Robin Tinger. He has paraplegia as a result of a paragliding accident. Um, I went along to a, uh, an open day. I was at a bit of a loose end and looking for something to do on a Sunday afternoon. Nice quiet row on the river. Two years after that quiet row on Christchurch's Avon River, Robin burst onto the international stage. Technically speaking, it's classed as adaptive rowing, but as coach Adrian Henning explains, all rowing is adapted to the individual rower, Push it out. whether they're disabled or not. An able-bodied rower is in a boat that's adapted to suit them. Therefore, a boat that these guys and girls use is just an extension of that whole system, so there's no real difference. You ready? Tension, go. Slowly, slow. Principally this boat differs from a conventional rowing boat in a number of factors. One is, we've got the most obvious thing which is pontoons on the boat. Now the pontoons are there stabilizers because the athletes that row on this particular boat have trunk, and, uh, trunk uh, injuries, therefore uh, they've got no, no ability if the boat rolls over to, to turn the boat back up. That's the major differences other than the fact the boat is slightly wider um, and a lot heavier than a conventional boat. So how heavy? A conventional boat racing weight is 14 kilos, the racing weight of this is 22 kilos, so it's a much heavier boat. At Robin's first serious event, the novice rower recorded a time that would have won silver at the Beijing Paralympics. Now the 45 year old is training alongside the biggest names in the sport with a goal of representing New Zealand at the next Paralympics. And how does that feel? Oh, that's uh, it's, uh, surreal. Uh, the first, uh, first time I came up here and uh, went into the, the boat shed, the Ever Swindells boats were there and Rob Waddell, the Mahi Drysdale and uh, oh, it was, it was uh, awesome really. I know I don't normally warm up this way but I'm not full pressure, we can do 80% first up. These are people you see on the TV and you know at night while you're having your dinner and who have uh, reached these great heights and, and then to be among them, it's uh, quite awesome. Coach Adrian Henning is setting up a schedule that includes the World Cup in Germany, this year's world champs in Poland, and next year's world champs right here at Lake Carapiro. Good. So we have goals to set, whether to make finals or whether to make medals. And I won't make predictions at this stage because it's unfair to put that pressure on Robin. Rowing New Zealand is the first national sporting organisation to fully integrate disabled athletes into its high performance programme. I mean, Robin is our, is our shining light, really, so we're working from the top down. Normally you'd do a development program from the grassroots up and you'd have open days like today and you'd have people coming through a pathway and a structure. But we've had uh, a great pilot program in Christchurch for the last two years, which has basically written the blueprint for us of how we're going to roll this adaptive rowing program out. And then Robin going to the World Champs this year is just a really exciting opportunity for rowing in New Zealand and for anyone with a disability to be able to get into the sport. How much do you reckon? Yeah, that's fine. 
It's not all about mechanical adjustments. There's also been a few operational changes to make the sport fully inclusive. Um, there's a lot that organisers, coaches, medical staff need to learn. One was the podium. At the New Zealand Champs, um, everyone else was going up on the podium and all of a sudden, oh dear, uh, <laughs> are we going to lift them up? No. <laughs> uh, so um, th there's a lot, uh, a lot of um, things that, that needed to be overcome and, and I think we've broken down a number of barriers. I guess my main interest is to continue that push to keep adaptive rowing in focus and get more people involved. I need some competition. You're going extremely well. Kay, Kay Smith is blind, but this former Paralympian's always had a passion for staying active. Well, uh, I think we need to do a thousand at least. Yeah. Westpac area manager Hamish Ward is equally keen on sport and eager to encourage Kay to have a go at rowing. I think you've definitely done this before. Though. This is one of a series of events Westpac supports, part of its philosophy of ensuring all New Zealanders lead a full life. In this place you'll be taking on Robin and no time, will you? There may well be a future Robin Tinger among the people having a go at today's Open Day. The rowing machines, known as ergs, are adapted to suit just about any disability. Let's try that again. And see that number there? I want you to try and make the number go up as high as you can by pulling it hard. Good boy. Get to 20. Keep it going. You've got to relax a bit more. Okay. Everybody needs refuelling. The Westpac team are handing out more than just umbrellas and encouragement. One more pull, and there we go. Thousand. Well done. Fantastic. Well, Westpac gives us a volunteer day's leave every year. So I did the adaptive skiing last year, and when they told about the adaptive rowing with the Halberg Trust and Westpac, I thought, oh, I'd love to come down and help out again because I really, really enjoy it. And that's the spirit that double Olympian Nathan Twaddle wants to encourage. Rain or no rain, he's been out there Program all ahead. day. I saw an opportunity in the sport when adaptive rowing became a Paralympic sport, and I uh, knew there was a space there for New Zealand rowing to want to do something and that's basically how I got started. Where's the motor? Um, you're it. You're it. <laughs> Come on Curtis. Where's that power? 